To access your data source account, you will now log in to your AHA account. If you do not have an AHA account, you will need to create an account by clicking here. Otherwise, log into your AHA account. After you have logged in to your AHA account, you will notice about halfway down the screen a box entitled Data Source. Here is where you will go to access your data source subscription. Click on My Data Source. You will know that you are logged into your data source when you see Welcome Back and Your Name. You will notice that there are a few differences from the old data source to the new data source. There is no navigation bar on the left hand side. It is now located on the top of the screen. When you are ready to search for a horse, there are two ways to do so. There is the quick horse search function located on the data source homepage or there is the advanced horse search function located on the navigation bar. We suggest that you use the advanced horse search function located on the navigation bar as it will give you the most complete results. Once you have clicked on the advanced horse search function, you will be able to search for the horse you are looking for. Be sure to be as detailed as possible so that you can find the horse that you are looking for. Sometimes you may not have put in enough information and there will be too many results and you will need to refine your search. Once you have found the horse you are looking for, you may click on the name to be taken to the horse profile. You will see that the horse profile looks almost exactly as it did before on the old data source. However, there are a few changes. Instead of the different sections being located on the left, you will now find them at the bottom in an accordion style. Only one section will show at a time. We have made some updates to the progeny section. If you scroll down to the bottom of the progeny page, you will see that there is now a count of progeny for that horse. You may also go to Advanced Progeny Search. Some horses that have more progeny than others might take a moment for the progeny to display. On the progeny detail page, you will see that you have several different options to sort the progeny by. Some horses will have an alternate registration number. And you can use this button here to show all registration numbers for this horse. You are also able to download a progeny report by clicking Download Progeny. Back on the horse detail page, you will also be able to see their accomplishments, travel, and photos. If you click on a thumbnail of a photo, it will open in a new window allowing you to see the full photo. After you are done looking at a horse's profile, you can also search for an owner or breeder. If you are looking to upload photos of a horse, click on the Submit Photos button. Here you will be able to upload a photo of the horse. After you have submitted the photo, it will let you know if the photo was submitted successfully. You will also see here that it is in the pending photos for approval. After you are done using Data Source, you can either return home to your AHA homepage or you can log out. If you have any questions or need further assistance accessing your Data Source account, feel free to contact us at 303 696-4500.